Welcome to episode 7 of 4NZ Gamers. I'm your host, Phil Brooks. Today I am joined by James Jennings, Sup. Dave Watson, Sup. James Brooks. Hey. And uh, yeah, we're going to do what we usually do. We get together once a fortnight to have a chat about games and movies. So let's kick into it. In this section we're going to do a little review on Mad Max. We're joined here by our um, movie uh, guru, Lance Lochner. Oh yeah. So um, why don't you kick us off, Lance? What do you think about it? Oh, I thought it was one of the best actions I've seen in years. Um, for very good reason. Non-stop. Yep. Non-stop. Non-stop yep. action kept me on the edge of my seat and um, I, I wasn't bored the whole way through and that's that's something that I get a lot in movies. Mm. Yep. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I rate it really highly. I have four to five stars in, that, in, in its own genre, in action. Um, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys say? Yeah, well, I saw I saw it as well. Um, I, I really I enjoyed it more than I thought. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. Basically, a two hour car chase, um, but really creative. I didn't think it was I didn't think it was amazing, but everybody is saying that it was um, really amazing. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe it's just kind of the um, maybe the content for me, or just being an actor, just watching it from a different perspective. But in terms of a pure action film, it was great. Mm. Yeah, um, and really creative. And so, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. You, I you loved it, eh? You liked it? Yeah, oh, I, yeah. Like you said, like I, I really enjoyed it, but I don't think it was as amazing as critics are making it out to be. Yeah. I mean, it was like a it was a non-stop fucking cop roller coaster. Definitely a roller coaster. For the whole movie, and I thought like the real, like the insanity element of it, like the all the way through, especially with the war boys and stuff, was yeah. really cool. Like, made it really interesting. I think being um, a being post-apocalyptic, um, you know, sort of a sci-fi genre, obviously they can make anything possible. You know, the, mm. the vehicles are out there. The oh, some of the designs for the vehicles yeah, are crazy. Yeah, yeah like uh, cars um, on top of cars and massive you, engines. You didn't know what to expect, and I guess that's part of the eye candy. There was so much happening, you didn't even know what the hell was this thing. You know, your brain was trying to figure out what the hell is that? What the hell is going on here? And you, you're going along with this roller coaster ride. And, I mean, I'm going to see it again later today. It was so much to take in. I need to go see it again. The second time? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You must have loved well it. Yeah, no, it was really, really good. Um, I guess, um, you know, when you've seen the original, you sort of have this um, sort of thing in your mind where you, you know what you're going to expect. But, you know, with the original director coming back and doing it again, I think he's done a better job. Yeah. Was he actually directed or is he yeah, just... he directed it. Did he? Yeah. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, with um, filming on location, um, for me, is a big thing. Um, you know, having real cars, real stunts adds the atmosphere to the movie, and you really can't get it with a lot of graphics. I mean, you're sitting in your mind thinking, you know, this is real, you've got 3D glasses on, you know, everything's coming around you. You know, it sounds awesome. You know, it's really well put together um, action film. So, I mean, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's something that I haven't experienced in a while in, in the movies, is that sort of atmosphere. Mm. It was, um, it was good to have this. Uh, like I don't, I, I vaguely remember the Mad Max movies. Like I, I, I kind of remember seeing bits and pieces. I think I remember the the second one more than I do the first. And there was a third one, right? Second, mm, second one was on. definitely the major yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, second one defined it. Like, yeah, yes. yeah. Made that basically what that movie is probably more based off. Of yeah, like I, I again, I vaguely, I vaguely remember them. I, I'm sure I remember if if I watched them again. Um, but I, I thought this latest Mad Max was a really good reboot as, as well, and also yeah. being the the same director, I think it was a good way for him to mm. to revisit his original ideas and mm. change things up. And because he did the first one, right? Mm. What's his name? George Miller. Yeah. George Miller. He yeah, did, George he, Miller. He did all of them. He, oh, he did all, all of them. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, like from what I remember, um, it's definite. It seems like a, a good reboot of the the second Mad Max with Mel Gibson. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, yeah. Um, the movie had been in the works since um, at least 2005, I think. It's been out there a while, but um, it hit development snags along the way, and Mel Gibson dropped out because he got sick of waiting. Oh, was he going to be in it? Yeah. Mel oh, Gibson was as, oh, as, the, uh, as Max again. Yeah. Right. Oh, like right. It was probably going to be set you know, 20 or so years in the future or whatever. That would have been really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah they, they got, he got mucked around so much that he said, you know, fuck it, I can't be bothered. He has other stuff to do. So, well, yeah. so then, I'm 10 years yeah. older now. <laughs> oh, no. In yeah. saying that, though, like, I really liked Tom Hardy as think, well, yeah, Max. He did like, really well. Um, he kind of, kind of takes a, a bit of a back seat from um, uh, Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron, yeah. She does look awesome job i think she, she was great, great in the they're film both amazing yeah actors yeah, yeah they're, they're awesome um 
and and I like um, if you go see go see the film. Um, he Tom Honey takes a real like original Mad Max uh, quiet approach. Oh, yeah. He doesn't do mm. a hell of a lot. In he it. didn't say much in the. Yeah, first he doesn't. Film. It doesn't yeah. say. He doesn't say too much, but it, it works well. That's mm. that's kind of the idea that I get of a um, yeah. of a Mad Max, a rogue warrior kind of. Yeah. Is he Australian? I don't know. I couldn't pinpoint yeah, his accent. His accent was I couldn't pinpoint it because uh, Charlize yeah. Theron definitely talks in an American accent. Yeah, but I think she's a new character. Right? Sound Australian to me, but then everyone else has oh. an Australian accent. I think really Hardy was sort of yeah, an English. Right. So he was doing a bit of a walk the middle line accent. Oh, I, I, I spotted everything. I, I spotted a bit of uh, Australian, some American. Oh, yeah. he, he's English. I, yeah. I believe he's an English actor. English, yeah, he is. And um, it, it, it just I don't know, like because uh, because of the Dark Knight, I, I, I always get the the odd Bane comes in every yeah, now and yeah. again. And yeah. um, but I, I still liked it. I, I still liked that he was kind of straddling whatever life, whatever it was that yeah, he was doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the cars are awesome. I mean, if you like cars, you can just see it on that basis alone. I mean, V8s, fucking mega trucks, and all sorts of fucking like two or three superchargers and yeah, two exactly. And I mean, it's crazy. A, if you love cars, you just see it at that basis alone. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 trippy. The whole movie. Um, you just don't know what to expect. It's one of those movies that really gets your brain going. I reckon. And and in terms of what you're saying about yeah. with um it being like a, a full on action film. Two hour car chase. Um, <laughs> Definitely car would you chase. Say, would you say it's the would you say it's got a good story to it? Yeah. Good story, or is it, is it just there for for it the was, dudes? It was, is it a dudes movie? Because I took my girlfriend yeah. to it and she hated it. I think it was. Like, it was definitely <laughs> yeah. an action movie, but the story was basic enough so that you knew what was happening. Like, I won't you know spoilers. I won't say anything, but you know, I think it was easy enough to understand, and it gave them enough you know reason to do what they were doing, and it made it all make sense and gave a substance or whatever you know. Yeah, I mean. Think so. Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, there's things in the movie being R16, you probably, some girls profile, but hard taken, you know. My girlfriend loved it. She thought it was awesome. Definitely like action. <laughs> but I mean, no, it really depends on the girl, choices. I guess. <laughs> I mean, if, you know, uh, yeah, I, I, you may be right. I mean, it depends on the girl. There's a girl like Cars, there's a girl like a bit of Slash and Bash. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely, I mean, I don't know. I think the women in this film are probably not as high up as the men in terms of the class, so... I, Oh, in the film, yeah. Well, but it, uh, but then again, you know, the one of the lead actors is a woman, so I guess it it really depends on the on the person, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, as you say, it's an action, but does it really mean it's for men? I don't know. I do, I do like one of the things. Uh, it was a, it was a cool, cool <laughs> film, uh, really action orientated, as we've been saying. But um, for a movie that's called Mad Max, yeah, I did think that. Um, Tom Hardy's Mad Max did take a back, back seat yeah. in terms of the story. It seemed like a it's movie true. called Mad Max, not about Mad Max. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the subtitle, not really about yeah, Mad yeah, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it, it, it kind of worked. Yeah. It, it kind of worked. Yeah, but. from what I've seen, it seems more about the world than the actual characters, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's probably yeah. what Mad Max has come to represent now, is yeah. we under we think about the three movies that came before this and what that world was, and that's, yeah. that's just our way in, isn't it? Like, mm. it's that world. Yeah, because it's never really been, I think, strongly about the character, because like right. you said, the storyline is simple. Cause the it's old, always it's revenge, simple. isn't it? The yeah. older ones Whereas weren't what, really... His, his um, wife and daughter or whatever being killed in the first film that's yeah. what he's all about but then it just becomes about survival yeah <laughs> that's yeah. all it is it's just some essentially survival in this world that's gone to shit mm. yeah much. and it's quite surprising that there's so many cars in it I guess mm. um <laughs> going yeah, <laughs> gas, gas and bullets seems a bit prevalent yeah. in the movie like they didn't seem to be that short especially on gasoline yeah yeah, yeah. what a thing there yeah, it's a bit of <laughs> yeah. And did you hear that there was a men's rights activist yes. group that was trying to get the movie, trying to get men to boycott going to the movie? Yeah. What? <laughs> Why? Explain it. I read this article as well, but I haven't how. Literally, right. know. I'm trying to remember exactly what the um. Do you remember what it said? Oh, I remember it's a piece of it. So there, there were a whole bunch of guys uh, boycotting the movie because it was a movie, an action film, um, marketed towards guys, but. Uh, the main character, Mad Max, isn't really... He's more of a supporting role um, from... Uh, Furiosa. From yeah, Charlie's Theron's Charlie character. Theron's character. Yeah. So she's, she's more of the main character than he yeah. is. He takes a bit of Definitely, a back seat, yeah. and she, she holds uh, most of the gravitas of the movie in terms yeah. of its like the, the acting, its story. It's all kind of on her shoulders. Max just happens to be one of the guys who just happens to walk through her story. Right. Um, 
Yeah. And but there's also there's also several other characters which are which are um, also female, and it's all kind of about protecting these women. Um, and Max just happens to be in the middle of it. Mm. Um, so this article was saying that um, it's boycott the movie because it's an uh, it's pro- it's marketed towards guys an action flick, which has got uh, a woman as the main character, which I think is awesome. It was great, and she was awesome in it, mm. and um, pr- protecting a whole bunch of women. Yeah, trying to get away from a male oriented world. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. don't fuck. It was weird. You don't need to boycott that. It was just yeah. sad. The boycott <laughs> makes no sense. Yeah, obscure views. Stop being sure. a pussy. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, and they didn't seem to like the, the female butch character. So what? Who cares? It was awesome. Like her being able to do the things that she was doing or whatever. Because I, I haven't seen the film, but I don't know, but apparently she's able to. She does everything that a man does. It's a really weird view. I mean, it's like saying that. If there's another Mad Max coming out, and then Mad Max is the lead role, and she's a back role. It's Maybe like it's saying, actually Mad Females, let's boycott this. Oh, she's a back role now. I mean, mm. it's like, take the opposite view. I mean, it's yeah. a ridiculous point of view to have. I mean, you just <laughs> yeah. watch it for what it is. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. Yeah. enjoy it on its own it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fictional film, I mean. I should call it Mad Maxine. Part two. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> A female man. I mean, there's well, lots. Of... The next one's called Mad Max Furiosa, so we're definitely going to be seeing her again. Oh, and, right. if, and if the movie is called Furiosa, I wonder if she'll be the, the main, main character yeah. again. It's going to be interesting. I guess so. Hard to say, having not seen it, because I don't know what her role she actually really had well, in the end of the film. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, Mad Max. What are your What's your overall review then? Let's say if we're out of five. Well, um, I will say like four and a half. On a, on a genre of action. I thought it was... It was As a fanboy of action? Well, I'm not fanboy of action. I'm fanboy of sci-fi, but... Uh, <laughs> critic rating and fanboy rating? Fanboy rating and critic rating. That's how we roll. In terms of, uh, you know, for you know 2015, ac- as far as action goes and on your seat, I would say a 4.5 in terms of sci-fi action. It's one movie that sort of kept me on, on my seat. And I have to go back to watch it again. A roller coaster ride, you know? Yeah. Nice. But, I mean, that's on its merits, so... Yeah, 4.5. Boom. James? Yeah, I'll give it a 4 out of 5 as well. Um, a lot of fun. I enjoyed it more than I thought. Um, and amazing uh, characters and creativity in it. Um, uh, pff, I, d- I didn't think it was mind-blowing. Um, because I, I thought, the, the even though the story was quite simplistic, I thought it was just a bit tad, bit too simple. Again, right. two-hour car chase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it was fun. It was fun. It was a ride. Yeah. Nice. Dave? Yeah, I'd agree with Lance. Four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah, for this day and age, you know, this year, action movies have been pretty lackluster. Yeah. A lot of yeah. CGI, a lot of bullshit stories, crap characters. And this is just, yeah, breath of fresh air, I guess. Nice. I mean, that yeah. sounds like almost the movie of the year so far, with a action, four, uh, action, four, four yeah. and a half rating well, like that. A- action, that's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty good. For action movies, it'll pro- I wouldn't be surprised if it's the best movie we see this year for the action genre. Yeah, yeah. time yeah. will tell. All right, you'll be getting these episodes coming up. Um, throughout the week so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and you'll be getting the full episode on saturday uh if you have any suggestions recommendations for things you want to hear us talk about uh just leave them in the comments below also hit us up on twitter hashtag 4nz gamers is that it or 4nz gamers i don't know how this twitter thing works but we're gonna (laughs) figure it out um so on behalf of dave and the two jameses i've been phil brooks and this has been 4nz gamers peace Deal.